Welcome back to the part 2 of creating the magical plasma orb. In the previous video we showed you how to create the core of the orb by creating a shader graph representing this floating liquid thing which distorts everything behind it and in today's video we'll make this look even better by adding visual effect graph to it to have some sort of like a electricity moving around it or some something like sun rays. I'm Ramiz al from Binary Lunar and let's get started. I recommend that you watch the first video about creating this shader graph. I provided the link down in the description and you can find it in the top right corner. So let's now add the visual effect graph. Go to the window package manager and search for the visual effect graph I already installed it so I won't do it again now so you just install that now let's create a new visual effect graph by right click anywhere in the project create visual effects then select visual effect graph let's name it maybe plasma particles that's fine for now open the VFX graph the first step we need to do is to delete everything because the normal system or the default system you will see is the same as the normal unity particle systems it only shows normal particles so after de deleting that press a space and create simple heads and the trail system because we need to create those nice heads and trails you, you can see now in the scene of course, first we need to drag that into the scene first. So let's drag that plasma particles to the scene and make it as a child of the outer sphere. Then make its uh, position 0 on XYZ to be exactly at the center of the outer sphere or the inner sphere. And now we can see those nice looking trails. The first thing we need to do is to set the spawn rate and we want everything in the end to be controlled from the inspector. So we will create some parameters. Let's first create a float, name it spawn rate, set it initially to maybe 25 and make it exposed so we, so we can adjust it from the inspector drag it and link it to the rate at the constant spawn rate then increase the capacity in the initialized particles to 250 that would be enough i think we also want to control the color gradient so let's create another property a new gradient and let's name it color gradient so we be able to adjust that immediately from the inspector then drag that property and link it to the color at the set color random from gradient set it to expose to be able to adjust it from the inspector and make a nice gradient for our plasma orb i think it should be a gradient that starts from light blue to dark purple to match with its colors so let's do that you can of course choose whatever colors you think it's perfect for your purposes of course to give those trials some glow you need to increase the intensity to something like 2 would be nice we don't need the set velocity random so let's delete it we want the trails to go inside a sphere shape so let's add a new node position sphere that will make the trials go inside a sphere shape or instantiated within a sphere shape instead of instantiating them from a center point and to control the size of this sphere let's create a new parameter sphere radius and link it to the radius inside the sphere then we can control the set lifetime random to control the lifetime of each particle so let's create two parameters two floats one the minimum lifetime and one is the maximum lifetime and let's link them to a and b in the set lifetime random node we don't need to do any changes to the update particle section so let's go to the initialize particles strip and increase the strip capacity to 250 now let's add the most interesting node to this effect which is conform 
to sphere this will add a force inside a sphere which try to force the trials to stay inside this sphere it has a lot of parameters that can change the effect radically so let's create a float for each one of those parameters we need a float to control the radius a float to control the attraction speed one for the attraction force and one for the stick distance and finally one for the stick force we will go to each one of those and see how can they change the visual effect graph first let's create those floats and link them to the appropriate point in the conform to sphere uh, node now the visual effect graph is ready let's close and go back to the plasma particles all the parameters that we checked that they are exposed can be changed now easily from the inspector so for example this stick force it controls what is the force in use to keep those trials inside the sphere so the lower the value the more some trials will escape the sphere so to keep them inside a good sphere you can increase the stick force to 50 I think but making it 10 will let some trials escape then the stick distance control the distance to surface in which the stick force is applied then the attraction speed and attraction force represent the relative speed or force that is used to attract the particles to the sphere so keep playing with those parameters till you reach a satisfying effect knowing that changing each one of those parameters can really create a different visual effect so for this plasma orb I'll keep those settings or properties of the visual effect then I'll show you how easily now we can create a totally different plasma orb just by adjusting all the parameters we created for both the shader graph and visual effect graph so let's copy the outer sphere or the first orb to another orb or make an instance of it but before we proceed we just need to create uh, materials for both the inner sphere and outer sphere of the second orb because updating the materials would do the changes for both orbs so let's create a duplicate of the inner material for the inner sphere and for the outer material for the outer sphere then apply those the new material 2 to the inner sphere and the plasma material 2 to the outer sphere now we can change the inner sphere to something yellowish to be like uh, fiery or then go to the outer material and change the parameters of the shader graph we created in the previous video so let's uh, first change the color of the texture which is represent the electricity inside the orb or moving on the surface of the orb so let's change it also to something yellowish to match with the color of the core it's up to you to change it to another colors and experiment with them then we can increase the noise scale to 0.2 to make the orb have more energy maybe and you can increase the border widths increase the power of it to be more glowy and change the color of the borders to something red now it looks like lava or maybe i can say that on it then let's change the parameters we created for the visual effect graph change first the color gradient to be from yellow to red also to match with the core and the other colors we chose for the shader graph you can see now how the glowy effect and how the particles looks nice like fire particles emitting from this lava new orb then I change the stick force to 30 the stick distance to 0.5 the attraction force to 20 
and the sphere radius to 1 and finally the conform sphere size to 0.5 that will remove the outer sphere of force and make only those sun rays visible on the second lava plasma orb and that's all for today's video feel free to join us on the discord server to discuss this shader graph and visual effect graph or any other previous videos thanks for watching if you found this video useful don't forget to hit like subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss the next one and of course, a big thank you to all the supporters on Patreon, Dimitri Vasiliev, Breadman, Joshua Kratovshvil, Little Fox, Parker Nelson, Giacomo Mariani, Falcon Jazz, Jace Lefever, Pedro Transong, James Valentine, Kojo Opuni, Rick Jabowski, Jack Crystal, and Mohamed Aydin. Of course, by becoming a Patreon, you can download all the projects we have done till now. Till next video, see you soon.